Hey everybody, Mark Ignisi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to a brand new week of Guitar of the Day. Eagles, baby. <laughs> Eagles, man, didn't see it coming. It was a fantastic game. I have for non-Patriots fans. Probably suck for them. I thought it was a great game. Really good. Man, that last drive. It was it's a nail nail biter. <laughs> Toe clencher, nail biter. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. They won. So that's over. Football's over for everybody else who doesn't give a shit about football. Hey, football's over now. You don't gotta worry about that anymore. Uh, let's see, it's Telly Tuesday. Uh, very excited for what I have to show you this week. Um, Saturday, right at the end of the day, right before we called it quits for the week, Norm walked in with like 12 stupid, stupid guitars. Like 12 more of them. A lot of which we sold uh, to one uh, collector friend of ours who just has too much stuff, ready to get rid of some stuff. Um, you're gonna like this. We don't see this very often. Custom color Telecasters, come on. It's Telly Tuesday, take a look. <laughs> this is from 1966. This is an original Fender Telecaster in factory custom color, three color sunburst finish with the original Berwyn sunglasses hard shell molded case. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Now some of you are staring at your screen right now going, Mark, you said custom color. Sunburst. It's not freaking custom color. Yeah, if this was a Strat or a Jag or a Jazzmaster or a P bass or a Jazz bass or a Bass 6 or any of that other stuff. But no, man. Factory standard color on a Telecaster is blonde. Always has been, always will be. This is a custom color Telecaster right here. Somebody called, uh, had their dealer order them one special. Three color sunburst finish. Clown bursty too, man. Just black to red right to the yellow. Wow. So yeah, this is pretty mage. Let me set it down for one second. I'll show you how just how mage it is. Again, it's one of those uh, it's one of those guitars in the book. Now, if I really give a shit, I'd have this pre-marked, but I just thought of it. Luckily, it was still back here. And through the magic of television and three more pages, there it is, right there, 1966. Sunburst Telecaster. Now you're going, well, there's a Sunburst Tele right there, and there's like a bunch of other Sunbursts. Yeah, you see them with binding. We did one recently. Just a couple weeks ago, we did that 62 Telecaster Custom. Now the standard color on that guitar was Sunburst, but you'll always see it with the binding. This is Unbound, just the regular Telecaster in three color. Now we're talking custom color. If this looks familiar uh, to any of you Kinks fans out there, Ray Davies had one of these. It's on a record album cover. It's in a lot of the old pictures of them. Had a non-bound standard Telecaster in three color sunburst. It's on a lot of those Kinks records. Um, and then, you know about Telecasters. We've talked about Telecasters a million times. Someone get the phone out of here. There's um, a phone in here. <laughs> how, many, how, long, how many rings is it going to take? A couple. Two? Three. Two rings, not bad. Um, for, oh, uh, what was I say? We, you guys know what's going on with the with the Telecaster. Still has dark circuit, although it's not as muddy as like the 50s, early 60s dark circuit, but it's still the dark circuit nonetheless. Middle, neck pickup with no dark circuit. Back, bridge pickup all by itself. And it's, yeah, really minty. But what we gotta really talk about now, because we have never talked about this, and I've never really had another one to show you. The case. Peep this case. People are like, what is this stupid aftermarket case? No, man, that's the top of the line Fender. No, somebody didn't just handwrite that on there. That's part of the deal. This is what's called a Fender. It was made by Burwine Industries. They call it a sunglass case. Oh. You know, Gibson had the chainsaw case. Fender had the sunglass case. This was the most deluxe case you could buy. This was a notch above, like, you know, this stuff here, the tweed hard shell cases and black Tolex cases. This was deluxe, but they only did these from 1965 to 1968. Why? Because they kind of sucked, to be honest. They're really great and collectible, but they always kind of warp and they're kind of hard to get together. But yeah, they did these from 68, I'm sorry, 65 until 68. Mm. Yeah, nice and plush, deluxe molded case. Most of the, the ones of these you're gonna see were for the, uh, for the offsets. 
Of course, because the hipsters would totally love a case that looked like that. But mostly it was just <laughs> Jazz Masters and Jags that came in these, although they did them for every model. Um, so yeah, you got the sunglass case. Also inside the pocket for this guitar, oh yeah, original hang tags, original strap. Those are pretty period. Those are old Fender strings too. Pure nickel wrap, Spanish guitar. Not that Spanish guitar. We've mm. talked about that too. Man, what a cool guitar. We've had a lot of stuff from the book come up recently and a couple of them were guitars that we just bought back, which is always kind of nice to have, but this is such a cool guitar, man. I just, for as plain as some people might say, it's just a sunburst guitar. There are not many of these floating around here. Very, very cool, very rare guitar. Why don't we go out to the couch? It's the beginning of the week, man. Let's just get right into it. I got some good stuff this week. Let's knock out this Telecaster. Let's go hit the couch. All right, we're out front. We have the 1966 Fender Telecaster custom color, three color sunburst finish with the three ply white guard. Uh, we're going through 65 reissued deluxe reverb today. All EQs at noon. A little bit of reverb. Let's start up on the neck pickup all by itself with the dark circuit engaged. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's get out of the dark circuit, in the middle position on the switch. Now we are just listening to the neck pickup on its own, but without that cap on there. Let's see what we got going. bridge pickup all by itself wide freaking open I'm gonna just hit the amp a little bit more just to get a little more juice bridge pickup all by itself <laughs> Thank you. 
1966, original Fender Telecaster, custom color, three color sunburst finish with the white guard, original Berwyn molded case with original hang tags, original strap, and it's in Norm's book. Here's your Telly Tuesday, man. What else you want from me? Come back and see us again tomorrow for more Guitar of the Day. Until then, follow me on Instagram at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars and check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. Oh, yeah. We'll see you back here tomorrow for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Peace. Bye.